another day another story the first known illustration of a dinosaur bone is from 1677 in 1677 the english naturalist robert plot published the first known illustration of a dinosaur bone only he didn't know what it was at first he'd wondered if the fossil discovered in oxfordshire england was an elephant bone from the roman empire welcome to tabo eminent channel After examining a live elephant for comparison, he suggested the bone may have come from a giant. Historically speaking, this wasn't an unusual claim, although researchers didn't start to understand what dinosaurs were until the 19th century. Stories of humans finding the bones of dragons or other large creatures go back centuries. I think it goes far back in human history that people found dinosaur bones, marveled at them, but probably didn't have any idea what they were looking at says hans dieter soos a paleontologist at the smithsonian national museum of natural history so when did humans begin to figure out what dinosaurs were in 1824 the english paleontologist william buckland published a paper on a jawbone fossil from an english village called stonesfield buckland described the creature it belonged to as a large reptile which is why he used the greek words for big lizard to name it megalosaurus but other than saying that it was a large predatory animal he couldn't really say much about it so says this was because there wasn't really anything to compare it to an 1896 illustration by joseph smith of a carnivorous dinosaur megalosaurus bucklandi the illustration originally appeared in reverend h n hutchinson's extinct monsters a popular account of some of the larger forms of ancient animal life an 1896 illustration by joseph smith of a carnivorous dinosaur megalosaurus the illustration originally appeared in extinct monsters a popular account of some of the larger forms of ancient animal life megalosaurus was the first dinosaur to receive its modern name the year after buckland published his paper about it An English paleontologist named Gideon Mantell proposed the name Iguanodon for another strange creature whose fossilized teeth resembled those of a large iguana. In 1833, Mantell used recently discovered bone fragments to identify another new genus which he called Hyliosaurus. Now, there were three new types of unusually large creatures for scientists to compare to each other and that's exactly what the English paleontologist and anatomist Richard Owen did in a seminal 1842 paper Owen pointed out similarities between these fossils based on these similarities he identified all three of these creatures as dinosauria a new term he coined by combining the greek words for fearfully great and lizard recognizing the megalosaurs iguanodon and hyliosaurus as members of a new group called dinosauria was revolutionary so said It suggested that once upon a time there had been animals that were extinct now yet in life had been the dominant players in their respective ecosystems These new discoveries captured the British public's imagination One of the first major pop culture references to dinosaurs was in Charles Dickens' novel Bleak House first published as a 20 episode serial between 1852 and 1853 The first chapter opens with the observation that it would not be wonderful to meet a megalosaurus 40 feet long or so waddling like an elephantine lizard up Holborn Hill. The American public became particularly fascinated with dinosaurs during a late 19th century period known as the Bone Wars in which two US paleontologists competed to outdo each other. with new dinosaur discoveries the friends turned rivals at the center of the bone wars were paleontologists edward drinker cope and othniel charles marsh beginning in the 1870s they used their wealth and resources to fund new excavations and sabotage each other's work despite the sabotage cope and marsh managed to discover over 100 new dinosaurs including the stegosaurus and triceratops with all of these discoveries Museums began featuring dinosaur bones and even reconstructions of dinosaur skeletons allowing the public to see dinosaur fossils up close. Paleontologists continued to make 
new dinosaur discoveries into the 1920s. But funding for excavations declined during the Great Depression and World War II. Public interest in dinosaurs returned in the 1970s when paleontologists began to make more exciting discoveries and propose theories that changed our understanding of the mighty creatures. The dinosaur renaissance and extinction theory. Back in the 1860s, English biologist Thomas Henry Huxley was a fierce defender of Charles Darwin's theory of evolution. He was also one of the first people to note the similarities between bird and dinosaur fossils and suggest that there was an evolutionary connection. Over a century later, American paleontologist John Ostrom revived this theory by arguing that birds were directly descended from dinosaurs. Work by Ostrom and other paleontologists helped spark a dinosaur renaissance, both in terms of dinosaur research and public interest. This included new theories about why dinosaurs went extinct, a question that not many 19th century scholars had been interested in. In 1980, scientists Luis and Walter Alvarez suggested an asteroid's impact with Earth could have triggered an extinction event that killed most of the dinosaurs. Though controversial at first, the Alvarez hypothesis has since gained wide acceptance among scientists, as has Ostrom's theory that birds evolved from dinosaurs. Why did the dinosaurs die out? Get the full story behind the extinction of the mammoth species that once roamed the Earth. The dinosaur renaissance also resulted in dinosaurs gaining more prominence in pop culture. In 1988, Universal Pictures debuted the first in a long-running series of animated children's films about dinosaurs called The Land Before Time. In 1991, ABC started airing Dinosaurs, a sitcom about a family of, you guessed it, dinosaurs. The next year, a purple singing dinosaur launched the long-running children's show Barney and Friends. Perhaps the most significant piece of media to come out of the Renaissance was Jurassic Park, the 1993 movie based on the 1990 Michael Crichton novel of the same name. The film and its sequels continue to shape how many people view dinosaurs, even as our scientific understanding of them has shifted. In fact, because scientists estimate that most dinosaur species remain undiscovered, it's likely that our ideas about them will only continue to change. Humans first discovered dinosaur fossils thousands of years ago, but they didn't initially understand what they were. Ancient cultures often interpreted these massive bones in mythological or religious contexts. For example, China, fossilized dinosaur bones were often thought to belong to dragons, Greece and Rome. Large bones were sometimes attributed to giants or mythical creatures like griffins. The modern scientific understanding of dinosaurs began in the early 19th century. Key milestones include A7, the first scientific documentation of a dinosaur bone occurred when English naturalist Robert Plott described a large femur, initially thought to belong to a giant. 1824, the first dinosaur formally described was Megalosaurus, identified by British geologist William Buckland. 1842, the term dinosauria was coined by British anatomist Sir Richard Owen to describe a distinct group of prehistoric reptiles, which included Megalosaurus, Iguanodon, and Hyliosaurus. These discoveries marked the beginning of paleontology as a field and helped establish the concept of dinosaurs as extinct prehistoric creatures. Thanks for watching. Request you to subscribe the channel.